Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create dashboards in Jira. So we have already covered a brief introduction about dashboards in previous tutorial. Now let's understand how you can create, edit, add gadgets to dashboards in Jira. So let's get started. So for example, if I want to create a dashboard or basically understand what, where, what all dashboards are available in my instance. So this is my Jira cloud instance. And if I go to the dashboard at the top, right? So if I click on the dashboard, I have the default dashboard, which is by default available in the Jira instance. If I want to view all dashboard, I can click on view all dashboard or I can create dashboard directly from clicking on this create dashboard link here. If I go to view all dashboard, I'll have create dashboard button as well, similar to as creating a project in Jira. Okay, and it will list all the dashboards that are available at the moment. So if I want to have a look at the default dashboard, say for example, I can click on default dashboard and it will show me the dashboard, the default da dashboard that has been configured at the moment. So let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard and create a new dashboard. So to create a new dashboard, I click on create dashboard and it will pop up the window and it will ask me to provide the name and other details of the dashboard. Let me create again. Okay. So to create a dashboard, I have to provide the name. So for example, I'll say um, our CV demo dashboard. And then you have to provide the description. So it's not mandatory, but uh, it's, it's good practice to have a description, then a description of the dashboard. Then the next option is about the access level. Okay, so if you see the access level by clicking on the drop down on Jira Cloud, you have the access level or uh, for the project or the group or the organization or you can keep that dashboard as private say for example i'm a team member and i want to create my own personal dashboard to track day-to-day -day activities that i do and how my work is progressing so what i can do is i can create a personal dashboard and keep it as private and that dashboard will only be visible to me okay so if if i keep it to private right so here you can see the option is private if i want to make it specific to a project then i can select the project for which this particular dashboard is applicable okay now say for example i want to have this dashboard only for rcv classic scrum so i can add that and now all roles or all members in the rcv classic scrum project will be having accesses access to this particular dashboard. So now let me save it. And once I save it, you will see that our CV demo dashboard has been created. And the next option is to basically add the gadgets on this dashboard. Now gadgets display the summary. So you, you can add gadgets on the dashboard and within the gadgets, you can configure those gadgets to display the summaries on the dashboard. So if you go to the add gadget, there are many gadgets available in uh, Jira. And then if I click on load all gadgets, so by default, it's not loading all the gadgets, you have to click on load all gadgets. And you can see there are a lot of gadgets that are available. And depending on what is required. So for example, I want to have activity stream in my this particular dashboard as well. So I can click on add gadget and that gadget will get added successfully on the dashboard. Next uh, gadget, say for example, I want to have this assigned to me gadget. Uh, the other important project related gadget is say for example, created versus resolved, right? So these are some of the report gadgets that are available. Then you can filter the results based on specific filter that you create. So I can create a filter, I can create a search query, I can save that search query and then I can use that search query into filtering the results on the dashboard. Okay, so I can add that gadget as well. Let me add that as well. And similarly, say for example, I want to have, you know, Jira roadmap or labels or pie chart, I can add pie chart as well. And there are many, many other gadgets and reports gadgets, so sprint burn down gadget, which will show you how the sprint is progressing 
etc so that all is available okay so for example i have added all my gadgets on the dashboard that are required for my project and important to track the overall progress then once i'm done with it then i can simply close this particular window okay and here you will see all the gadgets have been added in the left hand side to move the gadgets in the other location i can simply drag and drop right so at the moment there are two columns on this dashboard but i can edit the layout so i can edit the layout to the layouts that are available here so i can have a single column or two columns or you know first column will be a small column second column will be you know a bit bit longer then similarly there are different layout options available say for example i want to have three columns here so you can see that three columns are available now and i can start dragging and dropping these gadgets in these columns so that i can view them properly okay so that's that's all uh, okay so now once i have added the gadgets on the dashboard then i have to configure these gadgets this is the next step of creating or configuring your dashboard so we have created the dashboard we have added the gadgets and based on the project requirement let's configure these gadgets now say for example this is the filter results gadget that i have added and uh, i want to filter results based on the filter that i have created so for example i want to filter the issues based on some board okay so i can choose a specific filter this is just to show you or how you can configure the gadgets and then click on save so it will filter out the results or filter out the details or the issues based on the filter that you choose on this gadget okay now coming back to the pie chart here you can filter uh, provide the project filter so you can search the filter or you can write your own advanced search directly from here okay so if i go to the advanced search i can select the filters that are all already there or i can select from the popular or i can you know go to the search and search for the query and use it so for example uh, it searches in the filters name and description so i can search for that particular filter and i can go to the specific project and also choose the project okay so any filter or the keys that are there so for example i want to select rcv uh, classic scrum i can select the project from there okay and then based on that particular project it will display the details so i can either select the project or the filter in this particular pie chart so let's select the project and you can see that project details so basically what all issues are there in the project are being displayed along with the assignee and other user details right so you can see the pie chart has been displayed now this is highly configurable and it will change as per your project needs so you have to basically do a lot of you know configuration or you need to get a lot of uh, understanding or the requirement understanding from the project stakeholders before you go ahead and configure these gadgets because you need to have a clear idea what exactly business stakeholders are looking for and then you can come back to the gadgets and configure filters accordingly and choose the filters to dis display the results on these gadgets okay similarly the sprint burn down um, you select the board and the you know other you know say for example other sprints say for example a sprint 2 or a next sprint due and then it will display the sprint burn down gadget for that particular sprint okay then in the activity stream it will display all the activity the latest activity that happens and assigned to me will display all the issues that are assigned to the particular user okay so you can see here that i have quickly created a dashboard added a couple of gadgets there and then uh, configured these gadgets with some you know dummy data and in the actual scenario you can work out the actual requirements create the filters accordingly and then follow these steps to create the dashboard and add gadgets 
to configure your dashboard. So this is the basic of creating the dashboard and adding the gadget. Now, say for example, you have a requirement to edit the dashboard. Okay, so once the dashboard is created, I can go to view all dashboard and from the dashboard here, you can see that I can see the other dashboard which I've just created and to copy a dashboard or edit a dashboard or delete a dashboard, you simply have to click on uh, these right uh, hand side three ellipses and if i want to edit the dashboard i can click on edit dashboard and it will open the detail of the dashboard which i can edit from here so i can edit the name description and access level from here okay if i want to edit the gadgets on the dashboard i have to go to the dashboard directly and then from this particular layout i can edit the layout okay or I can add and remove gadgets. For example, I don't want this particular gadget. I can click on the ellipses and I can delete the gadget or I can, you know, edit it or I can rename. So all the options are available here. Okay. Then the next uh, option is basically to edit this dashboard. So I can click on edit dashboard uh, directly from here as well. So it will open the same window as we have seen previously. Okay to share this particular dashboard i can share it with other members as well so i can click on share and it will open same window and you can share it based on the group or the organization etc so it's basically changing the access level to share a particular dashboard okay then uh, to delete the dashboard simply click on delete from here or from all dashboard window you can find the dashboard so say for example there are many dashboard to click on to find the dashboard you can simply go to find dashboard and provide the name or the keyword that you know and it will filter out the dashboard that you are looking for so for example i can just start typing rcv and enter and it will filter out the dashboards that are matching that particular criteria okay let's go back to the dashboard again and cover some more options there so we have covered about uh, the find dashboard then to create dashboard we have already covered uh, view as a wall board and set up wall board slideshow i'll cover in a separate tutorial but to copy a dashboard that's another very important feature i can copy this dashboard as is into a new dashboard and then customize that dashboard so this is important because if you don't want to do the same steps again and again or there are many gadgets that you will be sharing across um, in the other dashboard simply copy it and edit the copied dashboard so that's how you can copy the dashboard so i can simply provide the name of the copied dashboard by default it takes copy of the name of the current dashboard and click on save and uh, you will see that a new copy has been created for that same dashboard with all the gadgets available there okay so if i go to the dashboard now and click on view all dashboards you will see a copy of our cv demo dashboard is available as well with all the details all the access level copied exactly as the original dashboard so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching